For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. Before we visited the pyramid itself, we took a look at the mastabas next to it. We know Mastaba 16, as it is called, belonged to Nefermaat, one of Sneferu's sons. But Mastaba 17 is especially interesting. No one knows for sure who this mastaba belonged to, but its position, size, and quality of its stonework clearly indicate it was a person of importance. Welcome, my room. That that's the, goes to the original entrance to the tomb. So that's where they actually came in through here. Where we came in was where people dug into it. Yeah. <laughs> the sarcophagus. Oh, gosh. birds in here. Oh, look at all the bats. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at this. A granite sarcophagus. Wow. From the old kingdom. Very basic in those days. Big. Yeah, the way they... Uh, lifted the lid, they put a, a beam under here that can lift it up on either side. Not super smooth, but smooth enough. Yeah, this is great. It may be the tomb of another prince. Some have surmised that it belonged to Snefru's predecessor, Huni, whose final resting place is unknown. You don't often hear about this tomb, and they do because everyone talks about the pyramid. This is great. Good? Good. Very good. good. The mastaba was filled with limestone chips from the building of the pyramid, which means it was created around the same time. Up to this point, the oldest sarcophagus I had yet seen was that of Khufu in the Great Pyramid. This one is even older. Sometimes you just gotta crawl. 